Hey, what's going on, guys? C-Man here, um, doing things a little informally. Uh, I don't want to go through the whole rigmarole of the Open, because you're about to see that in a, a couple seconds. Um, but it is a flashback Friday, and while I may have missed th uh, Throwback Thursday yesterday uh, to do my theater throwbacks, it was inspired by the Thursday day. They were, it really works on Thursday or Friday, and I was running around all over the place yesterday. Um, but I, you know, want, want to give you guys a theater throwback because I, I forgot last week, my bad. Um, so I've got two. I've got two. Um, every once in a while, C Man makes a video um, and then gets caught up doing things and like plans on like dropping it like a day or two after he cuts it and then gets busy and things get lost in the shuffle. And we've done this once before where I've kind of introed uh, an old video. These are. Not super old, just a little old. Um, but we're going to start up first uh, with a review, and then we got a, a trailer reaction, which I think will make you laugh. So I don't want to spoil anything. Um, I mean, you, you've clicked on the video, so you already know that we're talking about Hotel Mumbai. But um, I'm not going to go through the normal role. I'm going to let uh, the C-Man from back in that time period uh, do all of the talking, and I'm just going to get out of the way. So uh, take it away, past C-Man! <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the C-Man. Now I want to welcome you to another edition of the C-Man's Cinema Sit-Down. Now, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, other movies than Avengers Endgame exist, and I caught a few of those other movies before Endgame and completely blanked on sitting down to talk about them, and that's what I'm going to do right now, man. This uh, last movie that uh, I didn't get a chance to talk about. Wow, man. Um, I was... A massive fan of this. Uh, I know it hasn't been a home run for everybody, but I really got sucked in to this story. And one thing I can say with certainty, Dev Patel needs to be in more movies, man. Every time this kid is on screen, he just captures your attention and he is just always so impressive. I'm always so impressed by what he does on screen. And I was impressed with what everybody does on screen. This is a big ensemble cast and everybody delivers wonderful moments throughout. So why don't you uh, pull up a chair, man, take a seat. We're getting ready to dive in spoiler free into Hotel Mumbai. Um, now, first things first, I, I was obviously alive uh, for, for this story when it happened. I I was in college, so maybe I wasn't paying attention to, to the news as much. I missed this one, man. Like, they, they were getting into this. And then when the movie is taking, like, you're getting into, like, what's going on. I was just like, this, ha how did I not know this happened? Um, I, I was kind of shocked that I wasn't more in the know with this. And for those unfamiliar, like myself, to what the Hotel Mumbai story is about, uh, it's the true story of the Taj Hotel terrorist attack in Mumbai. Um, it was a terrorist cell that I believe hit five or six different locations, mostly hotels. Um, but they hit the Taj, which is like one of the most famous, um, you know, hotels in the entire world. And one of the biggest hotels, certainly in that area and obviously in Mumbai. I mean, the, the, the way the hotel staff is trained, um, you know, to handle themselves and, you know, what, what is and isn't acceptable and the lengths that people will go to serve their guests. Uh, the one line that's in the movie is that, you know, guest is God. Um, anything they want, we are here to do for them. Doesn't matter. Like, we will get whatever we got to get done. They take unbelievable precedent over all other things. Um, and when you take that concept and apply it to what happened to the Taj, um, God, man, like, what an unbelievable story. Uh, the amount of heroism from the amount of different people that were involved within this whole thing. Um, it was just awesome to watch. Um, you know, because it's one of these, like, this terrorist tag is going on. And the people kind of run to the hotel. And, you know, the hotel is starting to get word that there's this attack going on. So, like, they're not, like, trying to let people in because that's not how the Taj operates. And finally the one, you know, like, concierge guy comes up. He's like, let, let all of them in. Let them all in now. Like, th there's bad stuff going on. Not knowing that they were inadvertently bringing the terrorists into the hotel. Um, and when the attack starts going on, we have a couple different people that we're following uh, around. Um, obviously, we have Dev Patel, who plays Arjun. And Arjun, um, you know, what's really nice is they give little bits of backstory to some of these characters that enhance a lot of what's going on. So, uh, Arjun has, you know, a wife and a daughter. Um, and, you know, both of them work and his wife is pregnant with their second child. So he needs like every shift he can get and takes his job very, very seriously. And the moments that Dev Patel has in this movie, 
Wow, man. Like I said, yeah, I can't get enough of Dev Patel. But he has one moment in particular where they're kind of keeping a lot of the guests safe in this, this one room. And there's an older white woman who doesn't like that he has a turban. Um, you know, Arjun, uh, you know, has a, you know, because of his faith, has a turban, has had a turban his whole life. Um, and she thinks that he's a terrorist because of that in his beard. Um, I know that's a little bit of a spoiler, but the interaction that the two of them have that follow that, like, that's the moment in the movie where I'm like, dude, like, he's got me going. Uh, and you're just so enamored with how good he is on screen. He has a bunch of moments like that in the movie. Um, and I just, like I said, I can't get enough Dev Patel. And, and Arjun is one of the main focuses that we kind of follow around with. As is Army Hammer, um, who plays David, and his wife, uh, Zahara, who's played by uh, Nazanin Baniati. Uh, what you learn is that she is like a big deal. Um, the Taj, she's been to the Taj a bunch of times. Um, you know, this is the first time she's brought David and their daughter. Um, is it their daughter? It's either their daughter or their son. It's funny. There's a moment in the movie where the hotel doesn't know if it's a boy or girl and they leave both sets of clothes. I think it's a boy. Uh, but their baby is, is there, as is um, Sally, who's played by Tilda uh, Cobham Harvey. Um, and kind of the way the movie goes is like I'll take care of the baby they go to dinner and that's when the attack happens so you have a mom and dad separated from their child um and the scenes that involve that group holy cow you want to talk about like getting pulled to the edge of your seat like as powerful as Dev Patel's sequences are when that group is on screen and that story is running its course you are just like oh my god please no 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 like you're praying so off you're so often like just don't know man the best edge of your seat stuff comes with that group. Um, and just, I loved all their performances. And I love where their story goes. And then you just kind of throw in all sorts of, you know, additional supporting characters. Uh, those are kind of like the two main points of focus. Uh, but Jason Isaacs, who plays Vasily, he's kind of like this Russian, uh, I'm assuming billionaire, um, kind of playboy. And his actions in the movie i dug his story he's another one of those people that you kind of attach yourself to as you're going through um he has an interesting up and down throughout um but but everybody that drops in i mean even the guys who play the terrorists give really really good performances and what's interesting for me about the movie is they really show you what they're doing too like the people in the hotel obviously are our main points of focus those are the people that we're riding with that we're rooting for that we're hoping you know things turn out for but we spend a lot of time with the terrorists, too, and we get really, really good performances um, from all of them. And it's terrifying because it kind of gives you an insight into how these types of things worked, how they happened, how you're driving these, like, teenaged kids, um, you know, and young men to go do these terrible deeds. And you can see some of them kind of have conflict and, and second thoughts and doubts um, and it was interesting, and I could see that being an element of the movie that might turn some people off, because you're kind of, you're never feeling sympathetic towards them, but you're understanding them in a way that, like, they're not being completely painted as, like, just these terrible, evil human beings. They're really showing you that they are human beings that are kind of being manipulated to do some of these terror and some of them you know some of them i think are being manipulated some of them are all in on the whole thing um and it really gives you a, a, an inside look more than you usually get into how these terrorist cells function and that stuff is terrifying um and, and like i said the performances from those guys really make that stuff stick out and, and stick in the story um, and I thought I thought it was important. I thought it was important to kind of get that full picture here. And that was one of the things I liked about the movie. As well as just the setting, man. Jumping around the Taj. I don't know if they filmed there or not. I I'm assuming that they must have done some of the filming maybe there. But regardless, even if they recreated the, the, the areas, the Taj. Holy cow, man. The ins and outs of it and the way it functions and the way they kind of do these different things that are in there from like a traditional standpoint that end up really being useful um, in the movie. I just thought all the ins and outs of the Taj were really interesting. And this movie is graphically violent. Uh, I'm not going to like sugarcoat that. Like I said, it really dives into the terrorists and to our, you know, protagonists and you get into the stories. And obviously this is based on a true story. So it's not all happy go lucky for all of our characters. And it is, it's intense, it's violent, but I thought that made the story and, and, and the meaning behind everything that, you know, our protagonists do to, to save people by the end of this movie. Um, 
I just thought that all made it profoundly more impactful. And I, I was moved to tears multiple times in this movie. Like I said, edgier seat suspense and really, really great character performances. Whether it's our good guys or our bad guys. Everybody that's on screen, I thought, crushed it. So, you know, and, and what was even more impressive is you're getting a director who this is their first like real feature length film um, in Anthony Maris, uh, who also helped write the movie uh, with John Colley, who did Master and Commander, Happy Feet. But this is really Maris first go um, behind the camera for a big screen full feature. And I thought he did a wonderful job, man. Uh, the camera work in this mo movie is really solid. The pacing works. And, and like I said, John Colley and him just delivered a really, really impactful script uh, that I think just enhances everything that is going on on screen. So for me, man, big fan of Hotel Mumbai. I, I was really, I, I was moved. I, I was disappointed in myself for not being familiar with the story, um, but just blown away with what I watched. And, uh, you know, I think the, the, the unbelievable realism to the movie. I, I just think that, yes, I understand it's not going to work for everybody. I've heard some, you know, reviews come in and say it's exploitive or exploitative um, and, and things of that nature, kind of like they're using the violence and the terror um, in an exploit. I don't, I don't get that at all. I just get a very genuine heartfelt story that just covers all aspects of it, man. So you really get the big picture. And I, I really liked Hotel Mumbai. So there you go, man. Those are all my non-spoiler thoughts. Um, Dev Patel, I need more of you in things because, wow, he's so good. Uh, but now I want to know everything you're thinking, man. Uh, did you get to go catch Hotel Mumbai? Uh, did you enjoy it? Did you dislike it? Did you think it, it crossed any lines? Were there things or elements in the movie that you thought should have been left alone or maybe downplayed more? Or did you really buy into the whole thing? Were you on the edge of your seat? Were you invested in all the characters? Um, were you moved or impacted in any way emotionally by this story? Um you know, leave all of that down below. I want to know everything you're thinking. If you haven't seen Hotel Mumbai, you'll see Manny entice you. I, I hope so, man. Like I said, it's, it's a moments in this movie are tough to watch, but I, I think sometimes stories like these, especially in, in the world that we currently live in, are so poignant and relevant. And, and there's a lot of really positive heroism and, and things that like. These people deserved their story told. Um, so let me know if you're thinking any of that stuff down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you want to come join along in all my adventures, go hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell. You'll get alerts every time I make a video. And you can come hang out with the old C-Man Cinema Sit Down. For uh, for the C-Man Cinema Sit Down, I am the C-Man. I am signing off. Peace. Hey man, C Man back one last time. I haven't done this in the past when I've done this, just kind of with the video play, but figured it probably makes more sense to have me kind of wrap everything up at the end as well. So thank you for joining me uh, for another theater throwback. I, I hope you really did enjoy, uh, you know, the Hotel Mumbai review. I wish I would have put it out while Hotel Mumbai was out in theaters because it's a movie I think you know people should should take a look at. Uh, it does a lot of really good things, as I just said. So uh, for the C Man's Cinema, sit down. Another theater throwback in the books. I'm the C Man. I'm signing off. Peace. Well, I'll be. You guys are still here. You must be looking for some more content. Well, don't worry. C-Man's got you covered, man. You got videos like this guy and this guy. And if you haven't yet and you want to come check out all the C-Man goodies, join the Cinema Sit Down Squad, man. Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell down below that, too, so you can get alerts every time I make new videos.